Green tea for Joe. Well, he, oh. he Picard uh, drinks Earl Grey tea. Tea Earl Grey hot. No, he doesn't. He, he doesn't drink Earl Grey tea. He drinks tea Earl Grey hot. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, to people in the comments, yeah, I probably pretty, probably would hate everybody. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this Christmas themed because oh. it's Christmas. Um, so I have I have a few non Christmas stories, but I'm gonna stick with the Christmas stories. Okay. Uh, well, this, damn it, there's one I really want to get to, but eh, maybe. Maybe we'll I see. mean, maybe you start off with that one, and then we wind things down with Christmas. Thing. No, I'm going to start. I'm going to start Christmas. I'm going to stay Christmas. Okay. This one has a news story, I believe, a news video. Get this in tubes. Let me get this in a carrot shop for you. About Christmas decorations causing issues. And just keep in mind, any non-Christmas story, we will inevitably relate it to Christmas in some way. So somehow be Christmas related. Yeah. Uh, so here's the uh, the first headline up on screen. Confused neighbor in Shepherdsville calls 911 about Cousin Eddie Christmas display. That's some good news on that front. And there apparently is a, they called the neighbors on this guy? This is classic Christmas vacation. Uh, it's part of our culture at this point. <laughs> Woo! And they're calling the, the cops? They're mm -hmm. calling the and cops? Have, and they have the 911 call on that. I, I would like to hear the, the, the panic call. Had a male standing outside. He is naked. <laughs> he has a robe covering part of his body. He is exposing himself and he has a hose between his legs. Bingo. All right. A strange 911 call. A neighbor on edge. The Kentucky Christmas decorations that got the cops called. Just because the decorations go out. Lights in the bushes, maybe a little Santa Claus. Doesn't mean officers can mail it in. Never a dull moment. Duty still calls it Christmas time in Shepherdsville. Had a male standing outside. He is naked. He has a robe covering part of his body. He is exposing himself and he has a hose between his legs. Uh, not exactly the holiday spirit on display in the Dogwood Run subdivision. At least that's what one caller said. When police got there, the cops were here laughing, taking pictures. Um, it's going to be Uncle Eddie. He's tenacious. <laughs> oh, Cousin Eddie. Save the neck for me, Clark. It was full. <laughs> the cringy character from Christmas Vacation. Oh, that's a good one. Everybody knows the words to it. Everybody's seen it a hundred times. Joni Keeney brought the gassy, foul-mouthed relative with a plumbing problem. <laughs> Beautiful, oh, yeah. Beautiful. From her favorite Christmas movie to her front yard. Everybody has a cousin Eddie in their family. Everybody. She told me she was looking for a mannequin, and I was like, oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> Keeney found this one, put a robe on him, a cigar in his mouth, and a beer in his hand. We don't drink, so we had to borrow a... He doesn't have any our stubble. beer can. My husband drank the beer. And the mannequin so doesn't look drunk enough. Beer can. What a it's guy. A very, very the chair uh, we got off, um, yeah. Facebook Marketplace. And she used artistic skills from Deep Within... For the outline of the cat. R.I.P. That thing had nine lives. She just spent them all. A Rottweiler from next door even posed as snots. Before we left, he drank a half a quart of pins oil. For a pick. I just want people to have a good Christmas and get a laugh. It's the best. It's the best, I think. It's been a hit with the neighborhood. Everyone yeah. except that lady who called the cops. But it can be difficult to see through the blinds, right? We'll give it that excuse, yes. Yeah, I guess Todd and Margo never had trouble. And why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. In Bullitt County with photojournalist Dominic Furman. Chris Suter, WDRB News. That's solid. Next year is a good one. Yeah, that's that was a classic. I. I had that's a, probably a neighbor who calls the cops on anything that is going on in a neighborhood that they don't like. Yep. Grass is too long, too many cars parked outside. Though I'm going to start calling the cops on people who like cars parked outside. Yeah. Fuckers, use your use your garage. By the way, it's been amusing the last couple of weeks with you know winter. People out there are like scraping and scratching to get their cars dug out, and like, but you can see their garage is just full of random shit. It's like, hey, you know, that's what that that room on the side of your house is for, putting your cars in. So go. Put your cars in there like the rest of us, and then you can just calmly back out in the morning and drive to work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Um. Well, I got to bounce you out of here. Yeah, bounce you out of here. Go to the next one. Where's the 
Tylenol. Uh, so this one comes from England, I believe. Merry old England. Oh. They celebrate Christmas in England, I think. Uh, for, for a few more years until it's a completely uh, Muslim country. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, there's no news story with this okay. one. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do the best we can. Uh, grandmother charges her family 180 pound for their Christmas dinner. Oh, really? That's a lot. That's like you're going to Morton Steakhouse kind of prices. I don't think it's per person. I think it's collectively. Collectively? I don't know. It's like she's charging the kids 180. Well, she breaks it down by by adult and kids. She's got kid meal prices too. So. Okay, well, uh, I'm kind of curious, uh, and I, I support her in, thus far. But uh, grandmother has come up with a way to ease the financial burden of having the family around for Christmas. Charge them all for dinner. Caroline Dudridge devised a, a tiered fee system for her relatives that uh, brought in about 180 pounds this year to help cover the cost of turkey and all the trimmings for her five adult children and their families. Okay. I got any money. Uh Quote, there is a few out there who think I'm a bit of a Scrooge, but my friends think it's quite a good idea. Dudridge, who's 63, told the BBC Radio uh, Radio 5 Live. She said that she had the idea after the death of her husband in 2015 left her with only half the household income to live on. She initially asked relatives to put away small amounts of regular or regularly towards the end of the year. Wait, come on. Like, you can save up for this pretty much starting in September. You don't got to do it throughout the year. Uh, I said to my children, right, it costs a lot of money. I'm going to do a little kinky jar so you can put away two pounds away starting in September. Hey, look at that. Starting in September. I was right. It sounds it sounds good, doesn't it? But, of course, it all got a bit sham, sh- symbolic, shambolic trying to keep track of them and where they, there were a few stragglers. So there we go. Okay. Um, the next, so the next paragraph talks about how much she's charging each person, which is the kind of the crux of it. Instead, uh, the teaching assistant from Fairwater in Cardiff decided to charge her two sons fifteen pound each and the three daughters ten pounds, while her four grandchildren, age five years, a, a, age five years and older, were charged five pounds each, and her two three year old grandchildren, two fifty pounds each. <laughs> With one with one off fees to be transferred to her bank account. Okay. Well, it sounds like she's going to be taxed on this. This sounds like income. Yeah, I was going to say it's reporting. This means it's, it's now taxable. Also, is she charging them at the door, or when did she just give them a bill afterwards? Oh yeah, you get charged at the door, and there's going to be a hand stamp. No reentries. <laughs> uh, she explained that her charge she she charges her son more because they work full time. Wait a second, not because they eat more. Simply because they work more? Well, her daughters work part-time and care for their families. And she joked that uh, there is a little sentiment- sentimentality spared on those who don't cough up. Okay. How do they end this up? Is this guy is she going to jail or what? Um, she said in the past she always ended up with hundreds of sausage rolls and bags of potatoes but not much else because her relatives would bring food. At least this way, I've got a bit of autonomy over what I can buy. It saves on food, waste, and other important things. Well, it sounds like you're rolling around in sausages at the end of the Christmas. You were, and now you don't have those extra sausages. The, well, the- it raises questions like when you go to a family Christmas, I don't know about you, but like when we attend family Christmases, you like everyone takes like a dish, right? Yeah. So wouldn't that be the better way to do this? Is she's going to say, okay, I'll cook the Christmas goose. And you guys all bring everybody bring two dishes or a, you know a, a side dish and a dessert, and then you don't have to worry about the cost. But, well, what you know. she's saying here, her family uh, is stingy and doesn't, and doesn't bring good dishes. Like there's like one guy, I'll bring over a bag of tortilla chips. You know? <laughs> Doritos. I brought Doritos for Christmas. That's, that's why Joe stops by H E B all the time and get his twelve pack of whatever it is. He, he brought Doritos and Mountain Dew for Christmas. <laughs> all right, great. It's gonna be a, a wild night of gaming. <laughs> <laughs> so look look for this to spread as people read this story and think it's a great idea to start charging start charging uh family for dinner mm. i like uh, it, it this will catch on. Wants to know, does, 
Does what she ca- ID people in the kitchen? Yeah. How does she know these are really their her relatives? Bring an ID and a passport and your QR code. Your co- your COVID passport. It, this is going to catch on across the UK, and then the government's going to crack down, and then they're going to start charging holiday fees for transfer of funds. Well, they're, they're talking about the same thing here. The IRS wants to what anything over a uh, six hundred dollars becomes a uh, uh, something that you have to um, not just pay tax on, but you have to to um, uh, properly document and and have all your. Do you know how cumbersome that's going to be? It's going to be very cumbersome. Well, it's like the the you know the the people you have come mow your lawn. You you know, it's like all right, just move them over to cash. Do that. Of course, then they're going to start reporting you when why I keep coming in and withdrawing cash from the bank every every week. Yeah, it's what a nightmare. The Republicans, the first thing they got to do is remove that from the record, which they're not going to do. Dylan. All right, let's uh, move on over and see what else. We got. Where's the bullets for this gun, man? Nah, not very Christmassy, but okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe Santa brought that guy a new gun, but oh. didn't give him any bullets, bullets, and he's upset. Yeah, what a crappy present at that point. I'm sure, it's only a glitch. So, uh, so here's a different way to celebrate Christmas by these weirdos. Oh, okay. Well, I like new and unique ways to celebrate. These, this Christmas. is very unique. Yes. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, let me see here. It's up on the screen. I gotta, it's these websites suck. Uh, we host Christmas dinner in the nude. Our clothes, our clothes family doesn't mind. Okay, perfect headline. Well, they're also not charging people two fifty to come into the kitchen. Yeah, if you you want to take a look at his nude, that's going to be five pounds. <laughs> uh, they're living their naked truth. A British couple is speaking out about their plans to spend the festive season in the buff, claiming. They won't even put clothes on when their relatives call around. Ugh. Helen Berman is set to host her mother, 75, and her daughter, 15, uh, for lunch on Christmas Day when she will sit naked alongside her husband and Simon. Wait, her husband? Who's Simon? Just some random guy? Uh, where's it? No, just says, there's no and in there. It just says we'll sit naked along oh. her husband Simon. <laughs> oh, her husband Simon. I put it. You're I put inserting it, another person in, in there. I was like, wow, this, this is gonna get a crazy Christmas. Uh, okay. Well, I support their nakedness, and as long as their family is okay with it, um, no big deal. But even if their family is not okay with it, listen, this is what your daughter wants to do. She wants to be. She wants to have a naked Christmas. So be it. But our our house here, it's cold. And you definitely got to make sure that you got a good heater. You got enough propane or electricity to kind of crank the heat up. So you're not, uh, you know, too cold. You don't want to show your goods when things aren't, uh, when, when the turkey's not plump, you don't want to show it off, you know? Um, some people look at us like we're completely mad, especially when they find out we host Christmas. But we're all about accepting our our your body and everyone feeling comfortable. Great, my teenage daughter and my mom both totally accept our lifestyle, and they really don't think twice about it now when we answer the door in all our glory. Well, that's fantastic. Great. They're just sitting around. There's a picture of them sitting around playing uh, cards against humanity, completely naked. And then there's a third guy. There's a third guy sitting around with them naked oh, too. That must be Simon. I think that's Simon. <laughs> That's the, that's their 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 friend. They never know where he came from. It just yeah. happens. To Look be there. at that guy. Yeah, maybe that was the reporter. They're like, "Look, if you want to read up right about the story, strip down." Uh, it's not most people set up, but it works for us. We're exchanging gifts, playing party games, and raising glasses. Just a completely normal Christmas day. It's just that Simon and I won't have any clothes on. Who's the third guy though at the table? Who is that dude? How do you even find this damn story? Where's the road? This is some real sleuthing this by is this like reporter. Front story on Drudge. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Berman well, began. The reporter. Like, how did the guy who wrote the article, like, did he hear about this? You know what maybe, I mean? Maybe, maybe he's the third guy. This, he maybe. probably heard about it on Facebook. 
Like, you won't check out this family who's friends with a friend of mine. They are sitting around a tree. They're naked. They're decorating naked. They're outdoors. They're sledding naked outside. Sledding naked. <laughs> Shovel, shoveling the snow naked. Yeah. Uh, by the way, top comment on this on this story in the New York Post is, and they're wearing slippers. What the hell? Yeah, no shit. Yeah! They're, they're like, not completely naked. I'm looking at go, they're They're the slippers right there. Go all in. I do want to say, and the, the photo you have there on screen uh, with the Christmas tree, I applaud their thematic... Um, uh, keeping the same theme everywhere because the Christmas tree is also naked. Mm -hmm. That's it. The body, uh, the body and the guy pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at my sausage. <laughs> Look at my sausage <laughs> roll. Uh, I was concerned as to whether to bother my daughter, but when I asked her, she said it really didn't bother her at all. The mom explained when I was furloughed in 2020, I realized that Simon worked for, I realized that someone worked from home naked anyway. And then we, he started being naked in the back garden in full view of our neighbors. I was mortified. But then I realized that I really don't care. Then I realized if I don't care, if they don't care, why should I? Good. Yeah, my, my wife gardens naked sometimes. I'm okay with it. I like it. I'd be okay if more people are naked. There is a, there is a lot of body shame around uh, nakedness. And people just got to get over it. They got to get over it. And there, there she is. She's doing, I think she's singing karaoke next to a Christmas tree. Or she's carrying a remote control. I don't know. I support their naked Christmas. I'm doing she's this next really year, happy in, the, in that photo, she's really happy she got a new remote control. Yeah. I'm doing this next year. A naked Christmas. In fact, I'm going to send this to my, uh, my wife. She'd probably get a big kick out of this article. Has she done a uh, a new video recently thematic for Christmas for mm -hmm. Naked Gardener? Her most recent video was just kind of like a retrospective on everything we've done over the past two years in the property. Not the uh, not Christmas themed, but uh, just a, a retrospective. There's still there's still one more day, Mike. I know. I don't, I don't know if she she won't have <laughs> the time to do it. I don't think so. All right, one more article, festive or not, right. up to you. So. father so i've got a couple of other christmas related ones and then one not so let me give you two christmas and one not you tell me what you want okay so i've got um where is it here i scrolled right past it uh so golden corral is doing a christmas themed meal but to go which kind of defeats the purpose of golden corral i thought you go there to get Take the out. chocolate and start a fight Take out and then fight people. And fight old people. Only old people go there. So you know you can probably win a fight if you go there. <laughs> Take them. Um, so I got that story. I got a story on, uh, where is it here? Uh, 10 absolute last minute gifts for beer fans. Mm -hmm. And then finally, um, a sexy Ronald McDonald action figure that was up on eBay and went for a huge amount of money. Perfect headline. I like that one. I think we got to know right. about uh, Mickey D's and their, their sexy toys. And I'm pretty sure I saw this one. I think it was Herman found this around the same time I did, but he had a different source. Uh, so I'll give him half credit. Okay. That's something. Um, so here is a story about it. And then I did dig up the original um, eBay listing because that's what I do. Okay, great. I, I want to know more about this. I'll bring this up on screen. This rare, sexy Ronald McDonald action figure can be yours for just $150. Uh, that's good news. For anyone just listening at home, what we're looking at is uh, a declothed, for the most part, Ronald McDonald. He's he's kind of built. He's got a, he's got great pecs, great abs. But then he's got this uh, red, white, and blue, uh, are they called skivvies? Kind of uh, under underpants. And he's kind of got a speedos. Speedos. He's got to kind of got to pull down where he'd be showing his pubic hair, but it's nothing but fries popping out <laughs> in, in place of pubic hairs. And he's got those big goofy shoes and socks. I mean, I, I think I accurately described what he looks like. Look at that greasy lawyer. No, I don't think he's a lawyer. He's not a lawyer. Not that Eight hundred and fifty dollars. That's amazing. No, one hundred and fifty dollars. Not eight hundred. I think it's. One hundred. One hundred and fifty dollars. Oh no, it did go for eight hundred. So 
I mean, I'm, I'm reading down it's, here. It started at 150, and uh, and I'll put the link in here. I'll put the link in Carrot Shop for the actual um, uh, auction if you want to look at that too. Yeah, from the eBay listing, rare, sexy Ronald McDonald, old glory, American flag underwear edition, ten inch figure. <laughs> old glory. It, it says it's listed here as ten feet, but it's got to be ten inch. Oh, you got the commas. Yeah, they got the commas wrong. So uh, the, I, I expected to buy there. a ten foot naked Ronald McDonald. <laughs> ten foot tall. This is, I want a statue and I put it in my front lawn. <laughs> um, it is a figure with box. UVD toy wizard skull figure never displayed new out of the box or picture limited edition uh, 200 pieces worldwide. So uh, there we go. Someone is selling the same thing for 850. So clearly it's a collector's item. Wow. Holy moly. Um, I kind of want this. Yeah. This is what I want. This is what I need. This would complete the show. There's other pictures here. Uh, you put the... Yeah, so if you go to the, the second link I put in there, you can browse through the other photos. Yeah, I want to browse through the photos. It says it's sold. I can't believe it's sold. There's another one going for two two fifty or two uh, $220.50. Uh, I'm trying to find the, uh, the, the pictures here. Scroll down. It's more than a PS5. That's insane. And it's worth more. Yeah, it's worth more, too. It's, you get more value out of this thing. So I'm saying it's like you got to pay. Like a PS5 was going for like seven hundred thousand bucks. Hmm. I don't see any pictures on here. I got how, how far do I, I got to scroll? Because well, so, so because the listings ended, they just put stuff at the top that's like suggested. So if you go, it should be like right below that. Mm. Oh, weird. It's not showing up for you. Yeah. Um. I want to see more like this. I want to see more naked Ryan McDonald's. Hey, this guy should go to the. Uh, the naked Christmas over in the UK. I think you've but, got like an ad blocker or something blocking that. You're a bl yeah, ad blocker. You're blocking my ads. I'm blocking ads everywhere. Huh. From uh, New Hope, Pennsylvania. The hometown of Ween. I bet Ween's selling. I bet Gene Ween is selling this thing. Gene Ween. He would. <laughs> yeah. It's sold. Uh, All right, so actually, click the link. Click the the not the link there. Click the um the picture that says sold. That'll take you to the original listing. It says this listing has ended. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see. It. Yeah. I scroll down. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's there's, there's a nice back shot of it. Right. Look at that. Look at that sack of filth. No, that's fine. A sack of fries. I'm, I'm looking him up and down. He's got a tight butt. And there's a picture of him. And it's a front. Like, it is very, I, you know, that one neighbor, that one started to call, to call the cops. And you might, you might want to call the cops in the statue or his figure. It's kind of, it's weird. It's called Sexy Ronald Whistles from Wizard Skull. Why isn't McDonald's suing over this? Or why aren't they co-opting it? Obviously, there's, a, there's an opportunity here. Yeah, it's twenty twenty. It's almost twenty twenty three. We should be a little more progressive in our uh, Ronald McDonald uh, um, portrayals. So. Yeah, I agree. I think a fit Ronald who's uh, almost naked with fry pubes is probably uh, appropriate for twenty twenty three. Yeah, look how thick that is. Oh, yeah, his 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 fry pubic hair is quite thick. No, no doubt about that. Hmm. It's a band name, Fry Pubes. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a serial killer. <laughs> well, yeah, he does. He does. There's no doubt about that. $850. Holy moly. Um, I guess, I mean, it's a collector's item. It's only 200 of them. So I, I, I get it. Wait, some demented soul out there is out there playing with their Ron McDonald doll, lonely, on Christmas. <laughs> on Christmas. <laughs> on Christmas. <laughs> hey, kids, you don't get anything else, but instead you, you get this. Joe, what would you say? It's more expensive than a PlayStation? <laughs> Hey, kids, instead of a PlayStation, here's this for me. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go down to the basement and play with my doll. <laughs> you kids, get coal. <laughs> it's a stocking stuffer. It is. You can put, uh, you could go to McDonald's and get some fries, too, and stuff those so the fries are <laughs> yeah. sticking out of the stocking. You roll up to McDonald's holding this in your hand. Or they're going to call the cops on you. You roll that. <laughs> if this is riding shotgun in your car, demented. You're a freak. Is this going to be a new way to to eat fries? Is you you, you put them in the a skimpy little uh, skivvies and you you just stuff them in there and have them bouquet out like a uh, 
like a um a, a, a little box of fries from McDonald's. I don't know. This is going crazy. And I'll quit today. Yeah, this show's about over. <laughs> Maybe I should just quit and shut the show down. I gave you the option of of other holiday related stories, but no, you wanted Ronald McDonald and his rainbow fry pubes. That's it. I'm done today. Send us an email at ourbigdumbmouth at gmail.com. Check out obdmpod.com for other social media and donation links. 